Hi there, everyone. Uh, meteorologist Rusty Dawkins looking at some snowfall potential models. And I know there's been a lot of talk about some crazy snowfall numbers uh, in the panhandle of Nebraska. So we'll talk about that. Uh, and snow's going to be possible, sure. But uh, I've been hearing someone told me four feet of snow, and I'm like, in one day? <laughs> or, or over the course of several weeks. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of a lot of numbers flying around. So let's take a look at what the models are saying. Uh, first, we'll go through this one right here. This is uh, got a rain chance first. This is this big storm everybody's kind of talking about, uh, especially in the western half of the state. Now this starts off as a rain event in central and eastern Nebraska through uh, Monday into very early Tuesday before the snow starts to spread in. So keep in mind, this is a one a 1 p.m. on Tuesday, uh, and it's already it started about as early as one a.m. So that's a solid 12 hours of snow, still rain on the eastern half of the state. It continues through 10 p.m. Tuesday. So that's a long time to see snow. The rain tapers off in eastern Nebraska and then uh, snow starts to, it just lingers into Wednesday morning, may stretch towards Grand Island and Lincoln as we head towards Wednesday morning before eventually pushing off to the north and east. Uh, so this is, this is kind of the just set uh, set up what it looks like is going to happen. Now let's take a look at snowfall potential. The numbers, now remember somebody, I, I saw a Facebook post, somebody, I'm not going to tell you the name of the Facebook page, but they showed one of the GFS models that was showing 48 inches of snow in the panhandle. The latest one shows 15 in Shattern. I mean that's still a lot uh, but it's reasonable. I mean, we see these kinds of storms, right? I mean, this still seems high to me. Uh, for me, I think this is probably closer to your, uh, like the 8 to 12 inch range. That makes more sense. It's still a lot of snow, uh, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be as, uh, it just, it's hard to get that much snow. Uh, it happens. So with if it snows constantly, like we were just showing you, if that is a constant snowfall, then sure 10 to 15 or 16 inches a possibility but that 48 inches i hate it when they do that it's like and everybody's like oh my god we're it's four feet of snow and like let the models do their thing uh anyway so then we move on and as we head towards uh wednesday morning north central nebraska looks like uh, just a couple inches of snow and then that storm moves out of here so uh, yeah, that's one model, and we can, oh, I'm only going to show you two because it's still quite a ways out. We still have uh, today's it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, into Monday. Still a solid three days, really four, because the bulk of the storm doesn't start really happening until Tuesday. So we're still a ways out. So I'm just going to show you these long range models, and this one, same thing. It does show quite a bit of snowfall from uh, Alliance to Gordon to Shattern, but this one's only four to ten inches. The other one was uh, up to fifteen inches. So this one tapers it down just even a little bit more. So yes, a, a solid snowfall potential is out there, but those really high numbers that everybody's been talking about, likely not going to happen. But uh, again, a four to 10, and you know, 12, 13, 14 inches of snow, it's not unheard of, uh, it really isn't. And we could use it, right? I mean, this is, uh, this will be a, a kind of a pain as we head through uh, the early part of the week, but uh, we could use the moisture, that's for sure. As we head into Wednesday afternoon, uh, this shifts to the east, and you're looking at another two or three inches. This could make its way into southeast Nebraska, but it looks like northwest and north, uh, north central Nebraska would bear the brunt of this one. And here's what it looks like by Thursday morning, uh, barely not even an inch for eastern Nebraska. More rain than snow for the eastern half of the state. So if you want to follow me on my social media sites, uh, RustyWX for everything, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, which is where this one's going. And uh, I would appreciate a like and a follow and a, all that kind of stuff. So comment if you have any questions. I'll uh, try to answer as many of them as I can. And uh, we'll do another update if I can over the weekend. If I can't, then I'll do something early on Monday. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll, I'll continue to watch the models regardless. Pay attention to my social media pages. I'll have some updates there as well.